Have you ever wondered where it all began, the cradle of Western civilization? Our story starts thousands of years ago in the Paleolithic era. Europe then was a vastly different place with vast forests, towering mountains and expansive plains all teeming with life and potential. First came the hunter-gatherers, nomadic tribes who followed the herds and the seasons. They were the pioneers of their time, learning to tame fire, develop tools and navigate the harsh realities of a prehistoric world. But as centuries rolled into millennia, these early Europeans began to settle down, marking the start of the Neolithic era. Then came the Bronze Age, a time of significant technological advancements. The discovery of bronze, a blend of copper and tin, revolutionized tool-making, weapon crafting, and artistry. This period saw the rise of complex societies, trade networks, and the beginnings of written language. But it was the Iron Age that truly set the stage for the world as we know it. Iron, stronger and more abundant than bronze, ushered in an era of rapid expansion and warfare, as tribes and cultures battled for control of resources and territories. In the Aegean Sea region, two civilizations rose to prominence, the Minoans and the Mycenaeans. The Minoans, known for their sprawling palaces and vibrant frescoes, were a seafaring people with a strong trade network. The Mycenaeans, in contrast, were a warrior society with grand citadels and a rich tradition of epic poetry. Meanwhile, in Italy, the Etruscans were making their mark. Known for their sophisticated culture and powerful city-states, they laid the groundwork for what would become one of the most influential civilizations in history, the Romans. And so began a journey, a journey that would shape the world as we know it. The foundation stones of Europe were laid by the mighty Roman Empire, but what happened when it fell? Picture a thriving civilization that stretched from the sunny shores of the Mediterranean to the misty landscapes of Britain. The Roman Empire, a beacon of power and sophistication, ruled over Europe for over a thousand years. Its influence was profound and far-reaching. Roman law, the basis for many modern legal systems, was a marvel of structure and logic. Its language Latin became the root for the Romance languages and influenced others like English and German. The Romans were master builders, their grand structures from the Colosseum to the aqueducts still stand as a testament to their architectural genius. But even the mightiest empires have their twilight and in the 5th century the Western Roman Empire crumbled under the weight of economic decay and invasion. The fall of Rome plunged Europe into a period known as the Middle Ages. It was a time of turmoil and transformation. The once unified Roman territory fractured into a mosaic of feudal states. Lords and knights ruled over their lands with iron fists and stone castles. Yet amidst the chaos, there were seeds of unity. Christianity, which had been adopted by the Romans, became the dominant religion shaping culture, art, and politics. The Middle Ages were also marked by a series of religious wars known as the Crusades. European knights embarked on perilous journeys to the Holy Land, driven by faith and the promise of wealth. These crusades, fraught with violence and tragedy, nonetheless fostered significant cultural exchange and learning between the East and West. So the Middle Ages, often characterized as a dark and dismal time, were far from stagnant. They were a crucible of change, where the remnants of the Roman Empire mixed with new ideas and cultures, forging a path towards the future. It was an era of knights and castles, yes, but also a time of great change that paved the way for the Renaissance. Can you imagine a world awakening from a long sleep bursting with new ideas and discoveries? This is exactly what happened during the Renaissance, a period spanning from the 14th to the 17th century, which marked a fervent rebirth of art, culture, and knowledge in Europe. The Renaissance was a period of bright illumination after the Dark Middle Ages. It was a time when people started to look back at the ancient civilizations of Greece and Rome, drawing inspiration from their art, literature, and philosophies. The world saw an explosion of creativity, with artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo transforming the very nature of art with their innovative techniques and profound understanding of human anatomy and emotion. In science, too, there was a seismic shift. Nicholas Copernicus proposed a heliocentric model of the universe, challenging the long-held belief that the Earth was the center of it all. This laid the groundwork for later scientific revolutions and discoveries. But the Renaissance didn't just revolutionize art and science, it also sparked a new way of thinking about the world and our place in it. This intellectual and philosophical awakening paved the way for the Enlightenment, 
The Enlightenment, also known as the Age of Reason, was an 18th century movement that championed reason, individualism, and skepticism of authority. Philosophers like John Locke and Voltaire questioned traditional notions of power and governance, advocating for natural rights and liberty. Their ideas had profound implications for politics, inspiring revolutions and forming the basis for modern democratic societies. In science, the Enlightenment saw the birth of the scientific method. Empiricism, logic and rational thought replaced superstition and dogma, leading to groundbreaking discoveries that further propelled humanity forward. So, in essence, the Renaissance and Enlightenment were periods of radical change, periods that saw humanity break free from the shackles of the past, daring to question, explore, and innovate. These eras were not just about beautiful art or groundbreaking science, but about a shift in the very way we perceive and interact with the world around us. The Age of Enlightenment, a beacon of reason in a world ready for revolution. Imagine a world transformed from agrarian societies to industrial powerhouses, but at what cost? In the heart of the 18th century, Europe was on the cusp of a remarkable metamorphosis. The Industrial Revolution, a period of rapid industrialization, was about to change the very fabric of society. As machines replaced manual labor, cities swelled with a new working class, and the landscape of Europe was forever altered. But this wasn't merely an economic shift. It was a social and political one as well. This revolution sparked the rise of new ideologies. Capitalism with its emphasis on free markets and socialism, with its focus on equality and public ownership, emerged as powerful forces. These opposing ideologies would shape the future of Europe and the world, leading to an age of unprecedented conflict and turmoil. As the 19th century gave way to the 20th, Europe found itself hurtling towards the catastrophic world wars. The First World War, or the Great War as it was known then, was a war unlike any other. It was a war of trenches, of machine guns and poison gas. It was a war that claimed the lives of over 17 million people and left countless others scarred both physically and emotionally. Then, scarcely two decades later, the world was plunged into conflict again. The Second World War was even more devastating than the first. It was a war of ideologies, a war of extermination, a war that reached every corner of the globe. It left Europe in ruins, its cities decimated, its people disillusioned. Yet out of this devastation, Europe rose again, forever changed. The world wars were not only a testament to the destructive capabilities of mankind, but also to its resilience and its capacity for change. They heralded the end of empires, the rise of new nations, and the dawn of a new world order. The world wars, a testament to the heights of human achievement and the depths of human cruelty. Can a continent torn apart by war find unity and peace? This thought-provoking question sets the stage for our exploration of post-war Europe, a continent that had to navigate through the aftermath of two devastating world wars. As the echoes of the last shots faded away, Europe was left to face the reality of a world forever changed. The aftermath was a continent scarred, divided, and in desperate need of healing. The Iron Curtain descended, splitting the continent into the democratic West and the communist East, marking the start of the Cold War. Yet, amidst this division, a seed of unity was sown. In the ashes of devastation, the idea of a united Europe began to take root. Visionaries saw the potential for a Europe that could stand together in peace, rather than fall divided in war. Thus, the European coal and steel community was born in 1950, a precursor to today's European Union. It was a bold move binding together the industries that had fueled the recent wars, making any future conflict not only unthinkable but materially impossible. As the Cold War thawed, the Berlin Wall fell and the European Union emerged stronger. The EU, now a symbol of unity and peace, is a testament to the resilience of a continent and the determination to prevent history from repeating itself. Yet the journey was not without challenges. Economic crises, political disagreements, and the ongoing struggle to balance national identities with a collective European identity have all tested the unity of the EU. But through these trials, the EU has also achieved much. It has ensured peace, promoted democracy, upheld human rights, and facilitated economic growth. From the ashes of war, Europe has risen united in diversity, striving towards a common future. The story of post-war Europe and the European Union is a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity to rebuild, to unite, and to strive for a better tomorrow. It is a story of transformation, 
from a continent torn apart by war to a beacon of hope and unity. Before we wrap up, I just want to take a moment to sincerely thank each and every one of you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay awesome and stay safe.